Sarah! It's good to see you, Henry. I only wish it were under different circumstances. Sarah, you look lovelier than ever. <laughs> oh, uh, you know, Mr. Hornbeck? How do you do, Mrs. Bray? Oh, how do you do, Mr. Hornbeck? <laughs> Henry! Henry Drummond! <laughs> how are you, Henry? Hello, Matt. <laughs> See, you've already made some friends among the younger set. Hmm? Yes, youth appeals to me these days. <laughs> Room 206, Mr. Drummond, thank you. Neither of us is getting any younger, eh, Henry? Matt, you know what the doctor said about not overeating in this heat. Don't worry, Mother. We need strength for the fight ahead. I'll take up your bags, Counselor. Thank you. Oh, it's you again, Mr. Hornbeck. I read your article yesterday. Very biased reporting, I must say. Mr. Brady, it's the duty of a newspaper to comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. I don't like that fellow. Oh, Henry, I'd like for you to meet some of the good uh, people of Hillsborough. Mr. Carter, the mayor. Welcome to Hillsborough, Mr. Thank Allen. you, Your Honor. Prosecuting attorney for this, uh, this district, Mr. Davenport. We'll be working together. <laughs> Mr. Drummond, sir, let me assure you that while we may not agree with your ideas, we respect your right to voice them. Good boy. Henry Drummond and I have worked side by side in a good many battles for the rights of the common folk of this country. Twice he campaigned for me when I ran for president. Isn't that right, Henry? That's right, Matt. Now, after all these years, we find ourselves on the opposite side of an issue. <laughs> well, that's evolution for you. Good day, gentlemen. Good day, young gentlemen, and, and thank you, Sarah. Goodbye, Henry.